Okay, here we go. I get the lineups here. Welcome to the semifinals of the U.S. Invitational here at Lee Delanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Thrilling quarterfinal match between Mass Holes. The last right, match. No, no. Bowling Ball Mafia and Lucky Strike on the, on the board. Yep. Chris, Chris Bovert now. Lucky Strike, the number one seed. Which seed was uh, Bowling Ball Mafia? Chris Merrill leading off for the 10 box for Bowling Ball Mafia and for Lucky Strike. Bowling Ball Mafia made it up out of the seventh seed. So it's number seven versus the number one seed. 10 for both bowls to start here. The winners will enter the finals at this match. We'll have it for you live here at Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Chris Merrill, a 128 league bowler out of Lewiston, Maine. Chris Bovier from Nashville, New Hampshire, 123 league bowler. Starts his second box, first string, with an ugly 8-9-10. for Chris Merrill to start. Chris Bovier looking to get at least one here. Gets nine, 19 up to one. It's a one pin lead in the way too early first string. Ball ball mafia. Second bowlers. Second bowlers now. Ball ball mafia in the right. Mark Weber, a 118 bowler out of Ellsworth, Maine. Up against Jeff Surrett from Danvers, Mass. A 120 league bowler. Two four seven spare leave for Mark. Jeff Surrett, first ball, first string of three on twenty seven. Two four seven left, nine ten in the back. Nice shot for a spare. Mark Weber. Ten plus a ball through one. Nice try. Left up the seven, the ten pin left up. For Jeff Surrett. In the gutter, no good. Nine. Two pin lead. The bowling ball mafia. Through three boxes in the first frame. Plus this ball. Yep. And the other semifinal match going to the right of us. We'll have the two winners against each other here next in the final match of the U.S. Invitational. The winning team gets $8,000 to split. On the fill, nine, 19 after one. Kingpin stands for number five. Surrett comes back, a solid nine. Thunderous shot. They get louder and louder as day goes on. Oh, missed the spare, golden chance to get two in a row. Surrett for a spare, missed it also. Two missed opportunities early on. The second box of the first string. Now they get it, now he gets it. 29 through two, he gets his, 20, 19 through two. 19 through two, 40, 38. Is it 48? I can't see that. 39, 38. It's 11 pin lead. 11 pin lead right now for Bowling Ball Mafia. Third ball is coming up now. Doug Smith from Augusta, Maine, a 120 league bowler, leading off on 28. Back door, 1 3 standing. To the left is Nick Zuffaletto from Peabody, Mass, a 120 league bowler. He has a high single of 200. He goes back to our, he has the one two pin. For a spare, missed the head pin. Two missed opportunities in a row for Bowling Ball Mafia. For a spare, he takes advantage of his. Zuffaletto, 10 after one plus the ball. Nine, 10 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. 
But a fill coming up here for Nick Cefaletto. Freshy. Lucky strike. Calling Freshy. Easier to call him Freshy. Name he picked up in the junior leagues. Do I dare ask how he got that name? It's ugly. It's <laughs> because no, no. he was young. He was a fresh face. Okay, here's a nine, a seven drop. Nine in the first box he had. Doug Smith. On the fill, gets four. Hooked it to the right. 14 after one. Lead is six. Six pin lead early on for Bowling Ball Mafia. Spare! 19 plus the ball through two for Doug Smith. What a shot for a spare. Spare for a spare for Freshy. 24 and a ball through two. 68 62 early on. Six pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Fourth bowler is coming up. Out of five, Brian Purdy on the right. P U R D Y, Brian Purdy from Buxton, Maine. A 120 league bowler. Starting off on 28. Hooks it. Lemon drop. Sean Baker from Haverhill, Mass. 120 league bowler. Four horsemen. One, two, four, seven. Ten pin in the corner. Second ball. Bouncing back. Good try. Baker. Could try to get it over to the ten pin. No. Two good shots in their second ball. Third ball now. Field goal, eight box to start for Brian Purdy for Bowling Ball Mafia. Lucky strike, the number one C coming in. 10 box for Sean Baker, 10 after one. Six pin lead still, four pin lead now. Four pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia, 76-72. Both teams have a spare coming up with the third bowlers. And they come up next. Purdy, second ball, second box. First ball, back door! Almost. Nine drop in the first ball. Sean Baker, nice ball. He gets nine also. For a spare, missed it. They've had three missed opportunities for spares. Cashes in, Sean Baker does. A 10 and a spare, 20 through two plus a ball. And missed it again, nine. Lead is three right now, 85-82. Bowling Ball Mafia up by three. Purdy with 17 after two. Anchor ball is coming up. Mark Carrier from Augusta, Maine, a 123 league bowler. Dave Barber from Peabody Mast, 120 league bowler. Dave was in the Cheecher Nationals, the one I broadcast, came in third place. Jim Barber's father, a Hall of Famer in Candlepin, legend. Bounce that ball. Nine drop. Lucky break for him. Tough leave for Mark. That's the one, four, seven, ten pin, right corner. Nine pin, the wood standing in the way for a spare for Dave Barber. He's got it. Looked like a ski ball shot there. Got the 50 spot, the ski ball. For a spare, 10 in the ball after one for Dave Barber. Seven for Mark Carey after one. Tied right now, 92 apiece. For a string of three semifinals here at the U.S. Invitational from Lee to Lanes in Nashua. Good bid for a strike. Thunderous ball, nine. On the spare fill, gets nine, leaves the kingpin. 19 through one for Dave Barber. A lucky strike. There's nothing lucky about a strike, I don't think. Well, mine are when I get one, usually. I got a strike with a counter on Candlepins for cash, though. Missed it. Four spare misses by Bone Ball Mafia earlier. Now he gives him 16 after two. Barbara delivers a second spare in a row. 29 plus two. Through two plus a ball, through two. 10 pin lead now for Lucky Strike. They've got three marks to work on. 
versus one Bowling Ball Mafia. Bowling Ball Mafia, the number seven seed coming in. Top of the order now. Chris Bovier. The lucky strike. It's four. He had 19, a 10 and a 9 to start the first two. Chris Merrill from Lewiston, Maine, a 128 league bowler, has a spare lead, the 6 and 10 pin. He started off with two tens, 20 after two. Chris, second ball. Nice shot. Fives won't go. Spare for Chris Merrill. 30 and a ball through three. Nine pin lead, unless he gets his 10, it'll be 10 again. Gets the 10, 10 pin lead still, the lucky strike. 121 to 111. Bovier, 10, 9, and 10, 29 through 3. Fourth box, first string. Lives here in the, where this alley is here, in Nashville, New Hampshire, Lita Lanes. Four horsemen right side, one, three, six, ten. Merrill! Nine in the fill, huge fill, 39 after that 19 box. 39 through three for Chris. Ten pin for a spare leave. Beaufair looking for his first mark. He's pinning well, looking for a spare. Off the head pin gets two. Spare again. Two in a row for Chris Merrill. 49 of the ball through four. Two tens, spare nine, spare. We think. Well, in the gutter? He, 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 hit the, he hit the pin in the gutter. He, it did go in the gutter. Uh, okay, so no spare. He, he, he had a scowl right. on his face. Okay, so we didn't see that. So, okay. So, correction. So, Chris Merrill gets a nine instead of the spare. 48 through four. Watch, watch the faces real carefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought because he made it. And Chris Merrill, uh, Chris Beauvert has. Three tens and nine so far, 39 through four. Jeff Sret now, number two bowler. Had a nine and ten to start, 19 through two. Mark Weber, off the right gets four. He started off with a spare nine and a 10, 29 through two. Third box, first string of three in Nashua. U.S. Invitational semifinal. We'll have the finals next for you here live from Lita Lanes in Nashua. Off to the right. Two pin left, 10 pin right corner. Try to kick it over, got one. Nine box, 28 for Jeff Surrett through three. Mark Weber has the four horsemen. One, two, four, seven, eight in the back. Punches out the six pin, six box, 35 through three. 140, 135, five pin lead for Lucky Strike here in the first of three. Monday was all single matches, Tuesday through Friday team matches, and the opening round of the playoffs last night. Quarterfinals earlier today, our second match of three today, the semifinals. Half Worcester, left side for Weber. Surrett is the 247 on the left, 610 with Wood on the right. Let's see if he touches this water and goes for the three. Goes for the three, it's two. Weber, second ball. Got four, has four to go. 1479 standing. Nine bucks to Surrett. 37 through four, good pinning, no marks. And a six for Mark Weber. A pair of sixes. 41 through four. 149, 141, lucky strike by eight right now. Three to, three to one advantage on the uh, spares coming up in the next three bowlers. It's a lucky strike. Yep. Both of these gentlemen are on okay. spares. Third bowler, yep. Third bowler here. Freshy, Nick Zaffaletto, call him Freshy. Evening, Massachusetts. Next to Salem, Mass. Five on his spare, Phil. 
Spare four, spare five, 29 through two. Doug Smith on a spare. Gets a little push on the back pin, gets seven on the fill. Spare leave, three, six, and 10. 26 through two. Freshie going for a spare. Got three of the five. Five and eight pin standing. Smith for a spare. Got it. Two in a row. 36 in the ball through three. Freshie looking for a 10 here. He gets it with the wood. 39 through three. Two spares and a 10. 164, 158, lucky strike right now, up by six in the first. Two more strings to go in this match. And it's on to the finals here in Nashua. Freshy, fourth box. He's up to seven, eight. Doug Smith on a mark. Eight, nine, ball hit the 10 pin. Nine fill. 45 now after two marks in a row. Spare seven, spare nine. 45 through three. Six pin standing for another spare. You play that ball out of the gutter on 27. Is that what helped on the right side on 28? Do you have to go off the wall with the seven pin? Well, these two pins don't go without it, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I I'm wondering if you could hit work. the one on the right side, the tip left, the right side, and it hits the one behind it and it spins around and gets the seven pin. I'm no expert, but that's how I would try to play it. Not going for this, the one left and got one. Doug Smith for another spare. Missed it. They've missed five opportunities for spares. Those could come back to haunt them. Nine for Freshy. 48 through four. And a nine for Doug Smith. 54 through four. 176, 173. Ball and ball mafia. At the not for now is up three, but advantage, lucky strike, two spares to none for Bowling Ball Mafia. Sean Baker from Haverhill is on a spare here now. 20 up to two, plus this ball. On the spare. Nine, 19 in the box, 29 up to two. Spare lead with a 10 pin standing. Brian Purdy. Open here, 17 in this first two. Missed it, wide left. Purdy trying to make something out of this shot. Got two of the four. Lucky Strike enjoyed the night off last night. Got two rounds off. Advantage being one of the top two teams in the bye. 10 box for Baker, 39 through three. Nine box for Purdy, 26 through three. Seven pin lead right now, a lucky strike. 192, 185. One more mark on the board when Dave Arbor comes up after, these, after this box. Baker. Two horsemen right side, 13610. Brian Purdy. Head pin, spare lead, 247. Semi-finals, U.S. Invitational here at Lita Lanes, National New Hampshire. Missed it, clipped out the three pin. Ryan Purdy for a spare, no! Left up the two pin. This is for a 10, gets a seven, missed it all, field goal. 46 through four for Sean Baker, 10, three pin swing. 36 through four for Brian Purdy. 199, 195, four pin lead for Lucky Strike, plus whatever Dave Barber gets here on a spare fill. Spare fill. Has a spare nine spare to start. 29 plus this ball. In the first of three strings in the U.S. Invitational semifinals. We just temporarily lost uh, our camera froze. We're, we're on the overhead now. On the fill, two full, three. 32 after two for Dave Barber for Lucky Strike. I'll give him a seven pin lead. Mark Carrier.
gets five. Dave punches out to the right, gets two. For a spare, no, got the half Worcester instead. Mark had a seven and nine, 16 at the two coming in here. A three there for an eight box, 40 through three for Dave Arbor. And an eight for Mark Carrier, just 24 through three. 210, 203, seven pin lead for Lucky Strike. No marks on the board. Everybody's open right now. Standard view has been restored. We've been on the whole time though, right? Yep. Okay. Lucky Strike gets a lucky break here. The seven pin falls. But Dave Barber has a three and six for a spare opportunity. Mark Carey has a tough leave there. For a spare, he's got it. Three out of four spares for Dave Barber. 15 a ball through four. Carry a three in the right corner. Gets those three. Four, seven remaining for a 10 box. Gets 10, 34 through four from our carrier. 220 to 213. Still a seven pin lead for Lucky Strike, and they have the advantage of one spare on the board by their anchor, Dave Barber. Switch sides, go for the third time through. Dave Barber has a high single of 208. He's got bragging rights over his dad, Jim Barber, who has a 206 for a high single. Back to the top of the order, Chris Merrill up here. Got a 48 in his first four. Chris Beauvert. Merrill, Merrill had a 168 in the first string of his uh, victory over in the Fenway Academy. In the quarter five. Nice shot for a spare. Chris Merrill, 58 in the ball through five. That was in the quarterfinal match, the 168. Chris Merrill. Beauvert, trying to sweep that wood over. Can he do it? He did, but only two in. He's open through five, pinned decently. Three tens and a nine. Only an eight this time though, 47 through five for Chris Beauvert for lucky strike. Five pin lead the match now. Both on a mark, here's one now. Coming up for Chris Merrill from Lewiston, Maine. Gets the head pin, gets some help. Eight in the spare fill. Has the two and the seven pin, 66 through five after that 18 box. Over solid hit, seven drop. For a spare, yes, two in a row, 76 in the ball through six for Chris Merrill. Over looking for his first mark, 47 through five coming in. Has the two, the four on the left, 10 pin in the right corner. Can he pick it up? Oh, so close. We'll get an update on uh, the other match after the first string. Semi final match, those two winners will play each other. And nine box 56 for Chris Beauvert, a lucky strike. And that's a spare two in a row, right, for, for Chris Merrill. So he's at 76 in the ball. Up 241, 247 right now. Fourth in lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Second bowl is up now, both open here. Mark Weber. Jeff Surratt looks good here. Two and four pin. Weber with a bunch of wood here. This is the first spare. Missed the object pin, but got the wood to go for a spare. He made him what he was aiming for. We'll have to ask him afterwards. And a spare to match for Jeff Sered for lucky strike. Jeff said 47 on the ball. Mark Weber for Bowling Ball Mafia, 51 on the ball through five. 251, 247 in favor of Bowling Ball Mafia. And the first of three strings here at Lita Lane to Nashua. 
U.S. Invitational semifinals. We'll have to clear that before we start. How you doing, Bob? I'm okay. Match is close over in the other semifinal. I can see the score from here. It's uh, looks like 252 to 246 in the mid middle strings. And that's Fenway, Fenway Academy. Front. Good ball there. We'll go for a strike. That's prices again. I'm sorry, prices. We got the teams mixed up. Good ball there. Nine drop. Both open here in the sixth. Fenway fell to oh, Bowling Mafia a few minutes ago. That's right. That was a nine fill for Chris, for uh, Mark Weber. 60 through five. Another spare. Two in a row. 70 through six plus the ball for Mark Weber. Jeff Surrett had a nine fill in his. He gets another spare. 66 in the ball through six. Still a four pin lead, 270, 266. It's a four pin lead now for yep. the Mafia. Bowling Ball Mafia, yep. It's a lead change. Third bowl is here. Doug Smith on the right for Bowling Ball Mafia. The gray shirt. Freshy, Nick Zeffaletto. 48 through four on the left for Lucky Strike. Doug Smith. At a 54 in his first four. At a spare seven, spare nine in second third boxes. He's got the two on the left, the nine in the middle back, and the 10 pin on the right. Piece of wood will help hopefully carry it over for him. Good try. Got two of the three. Fresh, he has seven standing after his first ball. Head pin hit, but only gets. Three, four, seven, left, six, ten on the right. Nine box, 63 now for Doug Smith, through five. Fresh with a seven is at 55 through five. 279, 273, six pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Smith, only five in that ball. Open, open box of both bowlers, six box, first string. Freshy sweeps out the three pin. I just lost track of the pin, but yeah, he, he, he kept it. But just look at the Yep. Second ball here for Doug Smith on 28. Paul and Grant, Bob Lee with you at the semifinals of the U.S. Invitational. Oh, what a shot for a spare. 73 and a ball through six for Doug Smith from Augusta, Maine. Freshy tries. Good try, rolled over, wouldn't go. Has the four and seven remaining for a 10 box. He's at 63 so far with these eight through six, trying to get the 65. It's nine, 64 through six. 289, so it's a seven pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. They had the advantage on the spares, three to two. Our, cor our correspondent, Corey Packer, tells us that the, the electronic scoreboard is correct. Yeah, we need Corey to get a score on the other match here next to us on the right. A uh, couple lanes blocked off the, the other match. Here's Brian Purdy, he gets the five to go for the strike. 46 plus two through five. Sean Baker, open in the fifth box, he had 46 his first four. And a spare nine in the second. Four horsemen right side, got it. Spare, 56 and a ball through five. 299, 292, seven pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. I just don't want to say the Mafia. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> that's, that's what they chose. BBM. I guess say Bowling Ball just to make it right. BBM. On the fill. First ball. Five, eight, five, nine, and 10 pin. Five, nine, 10. 
for Brian. On the spare fill, he gets six. Sean Baker, 62 through five. The spare just missed it. Try to go the outside and slide it over. The urethane mob just picked up one more pin. Baker has the two pin, seven, eight, and 10 in the right corner. This would be for a spare. Got it! Sensational shot by Sean Baker. Brian Purdy with a 10, 63 through six. Baker, 72 and a ball through six. 16, 308, it's eight pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia here in the first of three strings in the semifinals of the U.S. Invitational. Actually, you can go with Jackson Strong, their, their hashtag down at the bottom of the jersey. That's what they were known as at the last championships. For the Rick, you have to be politically correct, you have to call them Bowling Ball Mafia. Well, it's their, their hashtag is Jackson Strong, that's their nickname. Okay. All right. Dave Barber on it. Spare gets five. He's at 55 through four. Mark Carey open here. 34 in his first four. Barber looking for another one. Nope. Got back door on one of them, but the 10 pin remains. Nice bid for a 10. Gets nine. Mark Carrier, 43. Still open his first five. Barbara the nine, 64 through five. 325, 322, three pin lead right now for Bowling Ball Mafia. Jackson Strong. Okay, we'll call it Jackson Strong for now. <laughs> All right. Five and 10, discount. Carrier. Dave Barber. Spread Eagle. Six box of the first string. We have two more to go after this. Semifinals here, the U.S. Invitational. Slid oh, over, my. but get, got one. Nice try. Had the right idea. Idea. Barber punching one. This is for a 10, 9, 52 through 6 for Mark Carrier. 6 for Dave Barber, 70 through 6. 328, 324 right now. It's a four pin lead for Lucky Strike. A lead change. No, it be, it's six. It's six. It was, it was three before, and, and it was a six over here and a nine over here. Oh, I'm sorry, I, mean, yeah. I, th I thought that was 330, it's 328. My bad. 334, 328, six pin lead. Ball ball mafia. Yeah. Harder than watching yeah, it's further back the scoreboard. Six pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. 334, 328. Yeah. Back to the top of the order. Chris Bovier. 56 in his first six. Boxing is seven. Punch is five. Chris Merrill on 27. 2 8 on the spare. Uh, lead left up in the 10 in the corner. Seven fill on the spare. 83 through six. Brings the lead to 13 right now. Good try, he punched out two. Good try. Chris Bovera, 123 league bowler, living in Nashua, New Hampshire. Goes for the two. For nine box, nine box and a 10. For Chris Merrill. Chris Merrill at 93 through seven. 65 through seven for Chris Bovier for Lucky Strike. 351, 337, 14 pin lead now in the first of three for Bowling Ball Mafia. Each team has two spares to work on. Eighth box, first string, it's nine. Bovier. Chris Merrill gets nine. The two Chris has dropped nine. Lousy piece of wood though. Really can't be tough to, man, maybe not. I don't know if you can get around that wood and go out the pin directly.
second and ball, eighth box, first string. Bover got it. 75 and a ball through eight. That's the six or seven uh, missed opportunity, a single pin or a spare lead they missed. Bull and ball mafia, nine. 102 to eight for Chris Merrill. 360 to 347, 13 pin lead in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. Both spares, uh, two spares on each, spare on each side coming up there for the second bowlers. Jeff Surrett on the right. Mark Weber on the left. Surrett on the fill. Eight. 18 in the box, brings him to 74 through six. Weber on the fill, gets the Caleri, five fill, 75 through six. Surrett, and a bid for a spare, no. Weber, second ball, punches out the three pin. For a 10, he got it. 84 through seven for Jeff Surrett for lucky strike. Weber gets eight, 83 through seven. 373, 365, eight pin lead now for Bowling Ball Mafia in the first. Two more to go after this, and then we have the finals here live at Lita Lanes here in Nashua at the U.S. Invitational. The Super Bowl of Canlipin Bowling. Solid drop here. Nine for Surratt. Nine pin standing. Weber. Trying to get a ten pin to fall. No. Tough split. Four, seven on the left. Ten on the right. Bunch of wood here in the way. Surrett for a spare in the eighth. Went to the left instead, got it. He plays the wood to the side. The three pieces in front were uh, not reliable. He's at 94 and a ball through eight. Weber got the two on the left, couldn't carry it to the right. A 10 will give him 93. He gets a nine though, nine. Was, was that a 10 or a nine? Was that in the gutter? That was in the gutter. No, no, he hit the... Oh, okay, he got it. All right, 10. Nine, short, 93 just, through yeah, 8. He had to clear the wood. Okay, 93 through 8 now for, for uh, Mark Weber, for Jackson Strong. 383, 375, 8-pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Third ball is Freshy. On a mark. Is he going to mark? Nope, he's open. 64 through 6 coming in. Doug Smith on a mark. Nine. On the spare, 82 through six. Fresh with a perfect piece of wood here. In front of the three six pin for a spare. Can he pick it up? Yes. 74 plus one through seven. Another spare for Doug Smith. Two in a row, 92 through seven. In a ball. 402, 385. Right now it's 17 pin lead. 17 lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Lucky Strike has four marks though to one for Bowling Ball Mafia. Freshy on the fill. Missed the head pin, gets the four horsemen. Right. One, two, four, seven remaining. Six fill gives an 80 through seven. How many half foot despairs have we seen this week? Lots. 12 box, 94 through seven. Those are falling at an 18% rate for pros. Freshy. Seven would not go on the full horseman. Smith, second ball. Has some work to do in the third ball coming up. With the 1 7 6 10 standing. Nick Zeffaletto, Freshy they call him. Peabody Mass. One for a 10. He's got it. 90 through 8 for Freshy. Smith with a tough 7. 101 through 8. 
for Doug Smith for Bowling Ball Mafia, alias Jackson Strong. I've got 410 401. Nine pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia in the first three. Sean Baker from Haverhill, Mass. Working on a spare here, though. A lucky strike. Scoreboard is up to It is accurate. So it's 411 to 401. Yeah, 411 to 401. All right, yep. so yeah, 10-pin lead. Did, just didn't register. Took a minute to register. OK, so 411, 401, 10-pin lead early. First string of three for Bowling Ball Mafia. On the fill, Baker. Nine. Eight-pin standing. 81 through six. Ryan Purdy off to the left gets four. Good wood to help though. Baker looking for another one. He has it. Three in a row. 91 on the ball through seven. Purdy strikes back for the spare. 73 in the ball through seven. The lead is one. 421, 420, Bowling Ball Mafia. Jackson Strong, whatever you want to call him. But with two, two, two more bonus balls coming up for uh, Lucky. Both, both bowlers here uh, are in the bonus. And then two more for Lucky Strike later on. On the fill to the right, back door, steals eight. 99 through seven for Sean Baker. Brian Purdy's fill. Solid head pin hit, but punches out, gets six. That's a lead change. 79 through 7 from Brian. Sean Baker for four in a row. Yes! 109 plus the ball through eight for Sean Baker. Purdy tries to kick it over, gets the two on the right. Lucky strike back in the lead now. Nine, 88 through eight for Brian Purdy. 438, 436, lucky strike up by two. But they're working on two spares, three spares. Three, yep. And nothing open, nothing doing rather. The Bowling Ball Mafia, so lucky strike in control here now. Nine drop on the first ball. Dave Barber, it's open here, 70 through six coming in. Mark Carey, open here, 52 in his first six, has the four pin on the left, 10 pin on the right, the wood could help him. Barber for the spare, has it. 80 in a ball through seven for Dave Barber, for lucky strike. Carrier trying to push this four to the 10. He does! Superlative shot. 62 in a ball through seven. Well, if you want, to, we'll check the other score after the string's over. We'll see how they're doing over there. The other semifinal match. Dave Barber on a spare fill. Gets nine. 89 through seven. Carrier on a fill. Gets six. 68 through seven. Four horsemen left side. One, two, four, seven. Dave Barber. Six pin on the right for another spare for two in a row. He's got it. 99 to the ball for Dave Barber through eight. 120 bowling average. Got to keep any mass. Won't go there for Carrier. Lucky strike has the lead. If he gets his 10, it'll be a five pin lead, but three bonus balls in hand for Lucky Strike. T 10 box for Carrier. Mark at 78 after eight. 467, 462, it's a five pin lead for Lucky Strike. But really it's more because they have three spares. On, actually four now, four spares to none for Bowling Ball Mafia. So they can increase their lead sizably. Top of the lineup here, Chris Merrill on 28, gets the roll. Eight and nine pin standing for a spare opportunity. 
Chris Bovier on a spare here. A lucky strike on 27. Missed the head pin, got the four horse pin, left side. One, two, four, seven remaining. 81 through eight. Spare for Chris Merrill. One, 12 on a ball through nine. Bovier looking for two in a row. Four horsemen, can he get it? Just got the head pin. Chris, a 123 league bowler, lives in Nashville, New Hampshire here, where he lanes is at the U.S. Invitational. It's nine, 90 through nine here in this semifinal round. We'll have the finals match for you next year live from Lita Lanes. On a fill for Chris. Merrill with a six, maybe seven. Nope, six. He's got the four horsemen right side. One, three, six, ten. 118 through nine. Chris Bovier on the head pin gets nine. First spare missed the head pin. One in ten remaining. Bovier, piece of wood in front of the seven pin, looking for a spare. He got it, 100 and a ball for Chris Bovier for lucky strike. Merrill gets a nine, 127 for the 128 average bowler. 487, 492, five pin lead for lucky strike. But they've got a ball here and three more coming up. Nothing on the board on, for Bowling Ball Mafia. On the spare, Phil. Head pin gets nine more. 109 for Chris Bovier in the first string for Lucky Strike. And the lead increases, 501 to 487. Right now it's 14 and three balls to go. Mark Weber open on 28. 93 in his first eight. He delivers. Solid hit. Will it go for a strike? Yes. Wood came over from the left side. 103 plus two. Jeff Surrett on a spare. He gets nine. That looked like a strike at first. 103 through eight. He's had two spares in the last three boxes. 10 pin goes to here. It'll be another spare. He got it. 113 in the ball. Three out of four. Two in a row. 113 plus one through nine for Surrett. Mark Weber on a strike here for Bowling Ball Mafia. It's 520 to 497. 23 pin lead for Lucky Strike. And they've got more marks in hand, in hand though. First ball on the strike. Hit that wall. That's huge for Bowling Ball Mafia. Double strike in the ten, ninth and 10th box. On the fill, spread eagle four. 117 through nine for Jeff Surratt. Mark Webber, double strike on 28. We have not seen a triple on our broadcast, but been many triples this week though. Punched out one. Threat gets seven, 124 first string. Leads unofficially down to 14. 531, 517 to keep him score at home. This one counts twice. Double strike, first ball. Could it be a triple? Off to the right, got five. That's 25 in that box, 118 through nine. 128, it's up to 133 right now. What was this, five? Gets three more. 136, what a finish. He had 93 up to eight, ends up with a 136. 
for Mark Weber for Bowling Ball Mafia. Great finish. One pin lead right now, but no marks on the board for Bowling Ball Mafia. Two are on the board for Lucky Strike. But the points don't matter, it's a three string, to three -string total. Doug Smith now back door. That's the one and two and the ten on the right. Rashi is open. Rashi's open here. Five in his first ball. He's coming at 90 after eight. Fresh he is. Smith coming at 101 through eight. Open here in the ninth. Try not to be open in the ninth. Missed it. Seven ten standing. That was a tough shot. Smith, eight, one oh nine through nine. It's nice to have a quiet moment not to talk. <laughs> Keep the laryngitis from coming back. That was a cue for Bob Lee to give me an illusion unofficially. <laughs> Eight box for Freshy. He's at 98 through nine. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you live from Lee Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Semifinals of the U.S. Invitational. We'll have our final match, the championship match right after this. Both with six on their first ball. 10th box of the first string, two more to go after this. Doug Smith from Augusta, Maine, 120 league bowler. Try to kick the three over, cut two. Fresh, he has the two, four, seven, and the five. This would be for a spare. Oh, just missed the five, right behind it. Good bid. Good ball, field goal. 117 for Doug Smith for the first string. Freshie, the five pin for a 10. 108 for Freshie in the first string for Lucky Strike. Lead is three plus two balls. 549, 546 for Lucky Strike. Spares for both their bowlers coming up. One here right now for Sean Baker from Haverhill, Mass. 120 league bowler. He's at 109 through eight plus this ball. Brian Purdy open here, 88 through eight. Six drop. Three pin lead for Lucky Strike plus this fill. Only got three to the left. Lead is six, 112 through eight. Purdy for a spare, missed it. It wasn't gonna be easy. Baker's second ball. He's up to one, nine, and 10. Purdy, third ball. Gets two for a nine box, 97 through nine. Baker gets one, eight box, 120 through nine. 560 to 555, five pin lead for Lucky Strike. Dave Barber will be on a spare when he comes up after this next box. Two more strings to go after this. Semifinals of the U.S. Invitational. The World Series Super Bowl of Kennelton Bowling. Back door. It's a gift there. Purdy with the four horsemen. One, two, four, seven for a spare. Got it. 107 in the ball in the 10th. Off the head, but use the wood. Good try for a spare. Will it go? Not quite. Good effort by Baker. Eight pin standing. 10 will give him 130. Nine, 129 for Sean Baker for Lucky Strike. Brian Purdy, 107 plus this ball. They're down four right now. Lucky Strike has a spare though. On the spare, off to the right, gets four. 
tied right now, but Dave Barber on a spare coming up. 111, first string for Brian Purdy. Dave Barber, spare fill will give them the lead. We're dead even right now. A lot of thrilling matches all week long, including the playoffs. Quarterfinal matches, incredible also. Mark Carey leading off for Born La Mafia. Open here, 78 is first eight. Has the five, eight, and 10 pin. On the spare, gets seven, seven pin lead now for Lucky Strike in the match. 106 through eight for Dave. I would, I would assume you have to go high left here, wouldn't you, Bob, on 28? Only what he did, but only one went, the corner pin. Dave Barber has the two to go over to the other side. Nice try. Ten for Mark Carrier. 88 through nine. Barber for a 10. No. 115 through nine. 585, 579. The lead is six by Lucky Strike. One ball to go in the first string. No point totals, only total pinfall. Three string match. And it's a good break there. Two and five standing for a spare opportunity. Barbara, strike bid. Triple strike on the other side. Josh Daly. Josh Daly, another triple strike on the other lanes in the other semifinal match. There's at least three, I think, this week, I believe. Including five out of six. Right. Yeah. Ten box, ninety-eight for Mark Carrier. Dave Barber. Up by four. Plus two. Ten box, one twenty-five. They win by six. Well, they're up by six. They don't win by six as a three string total in the playoffs. 125 for Dave Barber, 595 to 589. We'll check the official scoring. Right now it's a six pin lead for Lucky Strike. 595, 589. Bob Lee will check the official scoring. We'll have an update on the other semifinal match in just a moment also. And we'll start our second string here from Lee Delanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. This is the U.S. Invitational semifinals. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Glad you joined us. This holiday season, consider Candlepin gift cards instead of neckties and fruitcakes. Keep the bowling alive, keep the sport alive, support your local bowling alley. Candlepin gift cards. Check your local bowling alley. Candlepin gift cards, the gift of giving. Sean Bover leading off for Lucky Strike on 28. And a 109 in this first. Chris Merrill for the spare. Won't go. Chris had a 127 in the first for Bowling Ball Mafia. Second string of three. Semifinal match here in Lita Lanes in Nashua. Nine for Bover. 10 for Merrill, one pin lead in the string, five pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. Josh Taylor in the other match right now is a triple strike. But eight in his first fill. He got a spare over on 31. He's at 174 in the ball on the 10th. Yeah, and his, his team leads 631 to 597. He won the highest single in the tournament, I believe, too. 125 average. Back to our action. Over. Spare bid denied.
Nine. And nine. 19 for Chris Merrill, 18 for Chris Bovert. One pin lead in the string, five pin lead in the match. Over on 31, the other semifinal match, Josh Daly, a ninth on that spare, 183, a 640 for their team. Wow. Price is by 41. Price would form by 41 in that match. And that was with Witt on the other side throwing a 161. But how do you Witt? Whitcomb with a 161. Wow. 161 and you lose by 22. That's what a 183 will do. All right, back track action. Second bowl is here in the second string of three. Jeff Surrett had a 124 in the first string. Looking for a spare here. Think that would go, but it doesn't. Mark Weber on 27, 136 in the first in the hole. First box, second string. 10 box, 10 after one for Jeff Sweat from Danvers Mass. And a five for Mark Weber after one. 28 24. Bowling Ball Mafia leading by 10 in the match. Ball for Weber. Both balls off the head pin. Good bid there. All but the seven pin for Surrett. Weber, second ball, chopped off the head pin. Only a big out. By six. Lucky strike won the first string by six. Nine for Surrett. He's at 19 through two, but a tough six, a five and a six to start for Mark Weber. 11 after two. That is so frustrating for a great bowler like him. 37 30. 13 pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. 13 pin lead. Second of three strings here from Nashua at Lita Lanes at the U.S. Invitational. Semi-final match. Do you have the, uh, the win total in that first match, the other match over there, Bob, the semi-final total? The other one? We'll try to get the official score. We just, yeah, we just announced it. But, uh... Diamond left up here for Freshy. Got it. Nice shot. That's a spare for his first box in the second string. Doug Smith chopping wood. Nice try. Got three of the five. Freshy had a 108 in his first string. Doug Smith with the eight, eight after one. Doug Smith at 117. That's first string. Your back locks up standing up for hour after hour, 12 hour days. How do you hurt your back standing up? Your spine's doing a lot of work. Oh. So you know at least I have a spine, right? On the fill, Freshy. Gets seven. 17 after one. Smith. Tough split. That yeah, wood could help him if he get the two on the right over, possibly. Paul Grant with Bob Lee. Been an amazing week here. If you've never seen the Worlds or the U.S. Invitational, it's just the Worlds, but Canada's not here due to COVID. So they call it the U.S. Invitational. You were missing out. Hey, go! Oh, I thought he had it there. 
Excellent try by Doug Smith. Freshy gets one for an eight box, 25 after two. Officially, Price is with a 41 pin lead next to us on uh, lanes 31 and 32. Up 41 after the first string over Maria's. 18 after two for Doug Smith. 62 48. The match lead is now 20 for Lucky Strike. 20 pin lead in the second string. Fourth bowler is now Sean Baker from Haverhill. The 129 in this first string. Lucky strike up by 20. First ball, second string. Half push the right side. Brian Purdy from Buxton, Maine, had a 111 in the first string. Back door for eight. One and two pin standing, spare leave. Mark, this is Mark Carrier bowling. Okay, so that's right. They switched. Yep. They switched. Uh, I, sorry, it's Mark Carrier up now. Mark Carrier with the spare. Is Brian in the fifth spot now? They switched. They switched. They switched. Yeah. Okay. No one told me. Sorry. So Mark Carrier, Doug Smith flip flopping. I have to have my sheet here. Oh, strike! Sean Baker after the seven box. 17 plus two up to two. Seven fill. Eight fill, make it. 18 after one from our carrier. Flip flopping the four and five spot with Brian Purdy. Brian Purdy. Brian Purdy, yep. Another spare, two in a row, eight, 28, 28 in the ball through two for... That's Mark Carrier, right? Yep. Mark Carrier, Purdy's up now. They switched around, okay, got it. We don't know, I don't know if he's noticed those changes. Bob, Bob can pick these guys out of a lineup, I can't. <laughs> All right, so updated uh, 7976, lucky strike up, and that's nine now in the match. Dave Barber now is first box, second string, half Worcester, right. David at 125 in the first. Brian Purdy now in the fifth spot, moving up in the fourth, moving down from the fourth spot, the first string, has the four, four horsemen right. Barber, good comeback. Six and ten standing. Spare! Brian Purdy. Ten after one plus a ball. Barber, ten. Ten after one. Remains a, uh, it's actually nine pin lead, nine pin lead for Lucky Strike in the match. They won the first by six, up by three here in the second. Nine pin lead overall in the match. The winner advances to the U.S. Invitational Final. We'll have to hear live from Lee Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. On the spare fill, four horsemen left. 16 up to one, Dave Barber on 28. Has some wood in the way. Has that five and eight pin for a spare. He got it. 20 and a ball at the two for Dave Barber. Purdy missed the head pin. Nine, 25 through two for Brian Purdy for Bowling Ball Mafia. Looks like 99-98, so seven pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. Oh, they changed it 101 now, so two pin lead in the string. Ball and ball mafia 101.99, so it's four in the match now. Four pin lead for Lucky Strike. The marks are two to one though in favor of Lucky Strike. Top of the order here, Chris Merrill. 
Hitting seven. Merrill had 19 in this first two. Chris Bovier, a lucky strike on the left here. Had a pair of nines for 18 in this first two. Eight drop here. That's the four pin left and the five pin. Can he get it over? He did, but it wouldn't go. Trying to convert this to a spare. Using the wood. Can he get it? No. 10 for Chris Merrill. 29. 10, 9, 10. 29 for Chris. One left right now. 10, 111, 109 for this total. Bovier 28 through 3. The lead is four right now for Lucky Strike in the match. They won the first by six. Merrill on the head pin, but it's five. Both open here in the fourth. Our second of three strings here at the U.S. Invitational semifinals. Good try, these are seven and 10. Jeff Sred has a couple of pieces of wood in front. In front of the four and seven, has a 10 pin in the right corner. Oh, give it a try. The audio is good here, Bob. Good question. All right, so we have a 30, after that nine box, 38 through four for Chris Merrill. Chris Bovier going for a 10, has it. 38 through four also for him. It's a one, 120 to 119, Ball and Ball Mafia. The lead is five for Lucky Strike in the match by five. The one first by six. Second bowl is now. Mark Weber. Had a five and a six to start. 11 after two. Jeff Surrett had 10 in the nine. 19 through two in his first to start. Oh, good try. Punch out. The two and five pin standing for a scare for Jeff Surrett from Danvers, Mass. Got the five. Eight for Weber, 19 through three. Hit a 136 in the first string and not going his way early, a five, six, and eight so far. Jeff Surratt with a 10, a lucky strike, 29. Here are 10 for the nine sandwiched in between. Here's a good ball by Weber. Surrett punches the half whist to right. Fourth box, second string. One more to go after this. And it's on to the finals here. At the Educational at Lita Lanes in Nashua. Nice try by Chris, won't go. Paul Graham with Bob Lee will have the final hit for us, so. Good try, missed by one. Bob, you want to share about Lita Lane, what they did here for the tournament, about the alleys and the walls and stuff? Yeah, that's a, they, they all all refurbished the uh, the lanes and the side walls. They have new pins on order that have not arrived yet. These, these are the these are the best pins over on this side of the house um, for, of all the ones they have. 
Okay, so eight box for Weber, 27 through four only, and 38 through four for Jeff Surratt, for lucky strike. Lucky strike, 138 to 136. The lead is now eight in the match. It probably wouldn't be good though for the new pins to arrive in the week of a national championship. Pins have to break in for some reason. They, need, they, don't, they don't get the best bounce. Does it take like a week or two or a month? I don't know. You have stats on that? What? Good, you don't know that? I thought you knew everything. <laughs> okay, third ball is Doug Smith, spare lead. 18 through two. Strike bid for Freshy, almost. Freshy at 25, a spare seven, eight. His first two, 25 through two. For a spare. Oh, he got it from the back door. And the legal block in the back goes. 28 in the ball through three. That's a football term, of course, if you don't understand football. Freshie responds with a spare of his own. 35 in the ball through three. Eight pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. On the fill, back door seven. 35 through three now for Smith. Freshie on 27. Working on his spare fill. He's got eight. Leaves the two and the seven. 43 through three for Freshy. Smith. Going for the spare. He, he does not get it. Thought he had it. Just fell short. Heck of a try. Freshy got his spare. He's got three spares and four boxes, two in a row. 53 in a ball through four. Nine for Doug Smith, 44 through four. 166, 162 for Lucky Strike. 10 pin lead in the match. They're working on three marks to one for Bowling Ball Mafia. And Bowling Ball Mafia, one of those three marks is a strike. And that's being worked on coming up here by Sean Baker. But first it'll be Mark Carrier, who's on a spare. He had a spare eight in his first, spare in his second. Only gets three though, 31 through two. After that 13 bucks. On a strike, Bill, back door. Back door gets six. Second ball, good shot. Baker. <laughs> Looking for a spare and strike, won't go. 17, Phil, 24 through two. Buck Carrier off to the left. Eight box. 39 through three. Nice 10 there. 34 through three for Sean Baker. One eighty three, one seventy three. lucky strike. 16 now in the match, it's the lead. There's a good back action there. Good piece of wood, solid chance for a spare. For Mark Carrier, Baker, head pin. One more goes. Uh, might have been better off standing. Both polos open here in the fourth. Now second of three strings. Semi-final match. Missed it, missed the wrong wood. Hit the wrong wood. For a 10, gets it this time, 49 through four from our carrier. Mad at himself. Been there, done that. 10 for Sean Baker, 44 through four. 16 pin lead still for Lucky Strike. And Dave Barber coming up in the red on the left. He's working on a spare. Brian Purdy open here, 25 in his first two, spare six, nine. Third ball, third box, first ball, second string. Wide right, hitting two. Dave Barber on a spare fill, off to the right. Hits five, 25 through two. Good comeback. 
Left up the three pin. Great try by Brian. Dave Barber at a 125 in his first. Brian Purdy at a 111 in his first. Rolling back. Almost. 10 for Brian. 35 through three. A spare six, nine, 10. Dave Barber, nine. 34 through three. 10, spare five, and nine. 207, 193, 20 pin lead in the match now for Lucky Strike. Our second string of three here at Lita Lanes in Nashua. Back door for Brian for one, two, and five pin standing. Dave Barber open here in the fourth, only gets three. And just missed it. Oh, heck of a try by Barber, almost. Ten, forty-five through five for Brian Purdy. Nine for Dave Barber, forty-three through four. Two sixteen to two hundred three in favor of Lucky Strike. Nineteen pin lead in the match. And we may have a change here. Do we have a change here in the lineup? Is there a change here in the lineup? We're changing the graphics. This is Sean McKinley coming up in the leadoff spot for Lucky Strike. Sean McKinley for the W. Sean McKinley coming on for Chris Bover. Chris Merrill on the left side gets down eight. The wood roll back. One, seven, eight, ten. Oh, there's our fourth and fifth, one, seven, ten today. I think it's our fifth. It's about almost 30 this week of those, just not broadcast. Missed the spare chance. For a 10, that one. 46 after five. Chris Bovier had 38 in his first four. So the combination of Chris Bovier and Sean McKinley, 46 through five. A nine for Chris Merrill. He's at 47 through five. 224 to 212. 18 point lead, 18 pin lead, I should say, in the match for Lucky Strike. Sean McKinley, spare leave here. Has the nine pin in the back, 610 on the right. Nudged it, missed it, missed the object part of the wood. Good chance for a spare, almost. It wasn't actually a good chance, but almost made it happen. Here's a 10 for Sean, 56 through six, and a nine for Chris Merrill. 56 also through six. 19 pin lead still for Lucky Strike in the match. And our second of three strings here from Nashua at Lita Lanes. The U.S. Invitational semifinals. We'll have the finals here live for you next. Paul Grant with Bob Lee. Bob doing the graphics, the sound, all the hard work in between. Here's Jeff Surratt looking for a strike, got nine, leaving up the four pin. Both balls open here. Jeff at 38 in his first four. Mark Weber, back door, one, two, four leaving, left up. He only just 27 in his first four. A five, six, eight, and eight. Trying to get back on track with the 136 for a string. Here's a spare for Jeff Surratt. 48 in the ball through five. Weber missed it. Chance for his, for his mark. Went by the board. It's nine, 36 through four. To five, rather. 36 through five. Jeff Surrett working on a spare here. Joe, Joe Duda getting ready on the, for, the, for the Mafia. For, for Jackson Strong, if you prefer. Joe Duda is making a substitution for Mark Weber. Joe Duda. Thank you, Bob. 
Chef Surrett, working a spare here. Cut seven, eight, 56 through five. Joe Duda off the bench. Spare leave, great piece of wood, four seven on the left. Jeff for a spare, missed it. Too far to the left, would have been two in a row. Duda for the spare, he has it. 46 in the ball for the combination of Mark Weber and Joe Duda. Nine for Jeff Surrett. He's at 65 through six. 261, 240, 27 pin lead in the match. Lucky strike. Third ball is here, Doug Smith on the left for Bowling Ball Mafia. Nick Zuffaletto, Tom Freshy on 28. He's on a spare to start the fifth. This will fill in this fourth box. Good hit, gets nine. 62 now with that 19 fill through four. Smith on the right, half Worcester right. Got to, you have to avoid that cap, go right at the pen if you can. Three in a row, no! 5th only clips off the 7 pin. He's got 7 standing with 1 to go. Freshy for a 10. Got it. 72 after 5. Outstanding start. And a 7 for Doug Smith. 51 through 5. 280 to 247 of the string. The match is 39. In favor of Lucky Strike. Just trying to pull away here in the second. No marks on the board for anybody though. But it's way too early. There's a good hit, eight. Match just hit its midpoint. We're halfway through, that's uh... Okay. Freshy has a four, seven on the left, a five pin. On the right with some wood, can he pick it up? He does, swept it over on the right side. Seven, 82 now, 82 and a ball through six. Great start for Nick Zuffaletto. Freshy. Oh, what a spare. The five into the seven, Doug Smith. 61 of the ball through six. Still 39, lucky strike. John Baker in the fourth spot. Open box at 44 in his first four. At a 129 in the first from Haverhill, Mass. At the midpoint are uh, the, other, the other semifinal match. Price is wood flooring with a 60 pin lead. Over. Maria subs. Mark carries on the left on 27. Try to sweep it over, just missed the object pin. Mark Carey had a 98 in the anchor spot, the first string, he's bowling fourth now here in the second. Eight box for Sean Baker, 52 through five, 10 for Mark Carrier, 59 through five, 298, 267 in the string for Lucky Strike. That's 37 pin lead in the match. Six box, second string. Baker missed the head pin, but gets eight. One and three standing. Mark Carrier off to the right. Gets four. Four horsemen left side has the five and the eight behind. For a spare, missed it. 
Both sides missing opportunities. They're not 100% guaranteed. Oh, there's a spare. What a shot by Mark Carrier. Two tens his last two boxes, now a spare. 69 through six, plus the ball. 10 for Sean Baker, 62 through six. 308, 277, 37 pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. They get one mark on the board. Bowling Ball Mafia has three marks on the board, all, all spares. Tay Barber open here in the fifth, 43 in his first four. 125 first string as a spread eagle. Brian Purdy open here in the fifth, 45 his first four. Had a 111 his first string. Dave try kick three over, got two. Brian with a triangle shot here. Can he pick it up? He does. His first mark of the string, 55 in the ball through five. Tay Barber with nine, 52 through five. 317, 287, it's 36 in the match, the lucky strike. We'll give you the score of the string and then we'll give the total of the match rather than how much you're up by in the string. Solid ball there, strike! Sean Baker, I mean, um, Dave Barber, Dave Barber, 62 plus two. Lost my head there for a second. Dave Barber, sens sensational strike, 62 plus two through six. Spearfield is eight for Purdy. He gets another one, two in a row after going Barkless in the first four. 73 in a ball through six. 327, 305, 28 in lead in the match, the lucky strike. Four boxes to go for each bowler in the second string. One more after this. Then we're on to the finals here from Nashville at Lita Lanes. Semi-finals here, U.S. Invitational. Nine drop. Chris Merrill. Open here in the seventh, 56 and six. McKinley filling in, 56 through six. Also open here in the seventh. For a spare, got it. 66 and a ball through seven. Sean McKinley in combination with Chris Bovere here in the string. As the, uh, what are the odds of making this shot here? <laughs> Eight bucks. 64 through 7 for Sean McKinley. 335, 315, 26 pin lead the match, lucky strike. Merrill on a fill. Nine, leading up the eight pin, unless it goes, no. McKinley gets the bounce. For another one. No, he hit the wood, got in the way. Just 75 through seven. Try to get it. Funny that one in front didn't go first. 10 for Chris Merrill, 85 through eight. Spare nines are huge. McKinley going for a 10. He's got it. 74 through eight. 345, 334. 17 pin lead the match. Ball and Ball Mafia trying to get back in it. They're on four spares. One coming up here from Joe Duda. Eight drop. Five and nine pin standing. 54 through six now. Jeff Surrett open here in the seventh. 65 in his first six. He gets eight. Five and seven. Some wood. Duda missed it. Nice shot for a spare. Jeff Surrett from Danvers, Mass. 75 and a ball through seven. 
Now he gets it. Missed the second. Easy on the third time. 64 through 7 for Joe Duda. 355-352. Lucky strike. The lead is nine now in the match. Mafia trying to get back in it. They are in it. Seven on the fill. Seven in the first ball, rather. No open here. Surrett's on the fill. He punches five. 80 after seven. The 10 finally fell. Missed it. Can you get us on the stream? I want to see the comments and stuff. Please. So I try to get a spare out of this. You try. Duda for a 10. 74 through 8 for Joe Duda. Nine box for Surrett, 89 now through eight. 369, 362, 13 pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. Three marks to two in favor of Bowling Ball Mafia. Tug Smith up here working on his spare. Off the head pin, gets four in the fill, 65 through six. Freshy working on a spare here. Gets five. 87 through six. Semifinals. US Invitational, Lee Delanes, Nashville, New Hampshire. All but one. Freshie's second ball. Uh oh, we'll go. It's over the seven pin, won't hit it. What a try. Nine for Smith, 74 through seven. Ten for Freshie, 97. Just missed out in that spare. Heck of a shot in that second ball, 97 through seven. 384 to 375 in favor of Lucky Strike. They're up 15 in the match. Two spares to one strike advantage for Bowling Ball Mafia over Lucky Strike. Smith open here in the eighth. Oh, won't go for the strike. Six pin stands. She on 27, off the head pin, but rolls back, still stands. Five pin in the back, one, three, six, ten, four horsemen on the right. Smith for a spare, he has it. 84 plus a ball for Doug Smith. Fresh, he has, fresh, he has some wood here, can he pick it up? Oh, the six pin wouldn't go. Two excellent shots, and his second balls wouldn't go. Could have had two more, but denied. Nine box, 106 through eight for Nick Freshy Zuffaletto for Lucky Strike. 393, 385, favor Lucky Strike, 14 in the match. Mark Fraterier open for Baker in the seven. Carrier, trying to get a big fill here on 28. On the fill for the spare. Eight, seven, 10, standing with a bunch of wood. 83 through, 63 through, five, I'm sorry, 77 through uh, six. 77 through six. six. Lead is six in the match. Lucky strike in front. Consulting how to play the wood. Sean Baker, tough luck. Half Worcester on the right. 
Hit the three and nine pin. And a good match, semifinal match here. Paul Grant with Bob Lee. Lee to Lanes, National New Hampshire, semifinals, U.S. Invitational. For a spare, won't go. Baker, second ball, almost got it. Five stands strong. Here's a 10. Carries at 87 through seven. 10 for Sean Baker, 72 through seven. Even in the string, six pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. One ball coming up for the Mafia. Virtual, two balls for Mafia and one. And one a virtual tie. Open box here for both bowlers in the eighth. Second string of three. Lucky strike on the first by six. Eight drop on this first ball for Sean Baker. Carrier for a spin. Got it! Sensational shot. And he pumps his fist. 97 on the ball through eight. From our carrier. Wobbling. Oh, won't go. Wow. Heck of a try by Sean Baker. 10, 82 through eight, no luck on that one. Dead even in the string, six pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. Both here on marks. Ryan Purdy on a spare. Dave Barber on the left, working on a strike. Three mark to one advantage though, for Bowling Ball Mafia. Ryan Purdy on 28. Looking for a big fill on the spare. Head pin! Nine and a half. 82 through six on the spare fill of nine. Barber on a strike. Four horsemen right. One, three, six, ten. That looked like a strike for Purdy, but didn't go. This is for another spare. He's got it. Three in a row. He had to play the left side of the wood. He did. Barbara goes left, missed the second shot on the spare fill. 68 through six on the fill. Reed is unofficially three now. Nine for Barber. He's at 77 through seven. Make it two. Two pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. Bowling Ball Mafia, a la, a la Jackson Strong, making a strong push here. On the spare fill. Sweeping over. Eight drop in the fill. 100 through seven. 710 with some wood. Barber, first ball open here in the eighth. Has a 7-8 on the left, 6-10 on the right with a bunch of wood, a couple of pieces of wood. Ready for another one for four in a row. He's got it! Incredible shot! Brian Purdy, 110 of the ball through eight. Sensational shot. Wow. Barbara makes a bid for a spare. Just short. Bowling Ball Mafia now on the lead of the match. Lucky strike won the first by six. Nine for Barbara, 86 through eight. 450 to 437 in favor of Bowling Ball Mafia. That means they're up by seven in the match. out going to the overhead and the bowling ball mafia has three spares on the in hand nothing lu lucky strike right now top of the order Surrett nine drop Merrill five on his first ball he's at 85 through eight coming in so, uh, so this is Sean McKinley rather McKinley 74 through eight Surrett's up next spare 
to McKinley. 84 in the ball. Ten for Merrill, 95 through nine. The lead is seven in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. Three to one spare advantage for Bowling Ball Mafia. Here is McKinley on a spare for lucky strike. Gets nine. Eight drop from Chris Merrill. Boy, coming out of play. Being a tough spare shot for him. 93 on the board through nine for the combination of Chris Beauvert and Sean McKinley. 99.9% .9 chance of making this one. You throw a thousand balls at that and only miss once? That, that, that would be me, probably me missing it though. Yeah, no, I, I think that's a silly statistic. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to keep it light here. McKinley for two in a row, got it. 103 in the ball. Oh, good try, almost got the five to go over. Just missed it. He gets the nine, 104 for Chris Merrill after a 127 first string, 220, 231 two string total. Lucky strike up by three now in the match. Adding on to it, but a half wish to fill. Two in the box, 105 for Sean McKinley. Combination with Chris Bovert. Five pin lead in the match for Lucky Strike. But they have nothing on the board. Three spares for the third, fourth, and fifth bowler for Bowling Ball Mafia. Second bowlers now both open. Jeff Surrey, 124 in the first. Uh, in his ninth box, second string. Four off the board, six to go. Joe Duda on 27, hits six. Two, four, seven, and then the five pin on the right, in the back. Duda, 74 through eight. For a spare, all around it won't go. Duda hits two. Surratt looking for a 10 here on 28. Got it. 99 through 9. Duda with an 8. 82 through 9. Lucky strike leads by 7 now in the match. Yep, you're up one in the string. Won the first by 6. One more string to go, too. In the semifinals here, U.S. Invitational. Both bowlers open here in the 10th. Duda, sizzling, sizzling. 7-10 stands. Twirling, twirling pin. Lands in a better position than would have versus the other seven pin. Surratt trying to work this out. Somehow for a spare, gets two. Still not an easy shot here. Good try, went west coast, tried to go east coast, went east coast to west coast, wouldn't go. 10 for Surrett, 109 for the string, 124, 109, 233 for the first two, and a nine for Duda, 91. 488, 486, lucky strike, that's eight now in the match. The next three bowlers for lucky strike are working on spares from the eight. Yes, and nothing on the board for Lucky Strike. So advantage right now, Bowling Ball Mafia with lots of time to go. 84 and a ball for Doug Smith, but first it's Freshy. 106 through eight open here in the ninth. Back door, it's seven. The wood should help, one, five, and 10 standing. On the fill, spread eagle, four. 88 now through eight for Doug Smith. Getting a little quieter now. Missed the head, Pamela go back door. 
Oh, no. Almost got a lucky spare. A lucky strike. Smith off to the left. Nine, 115 through nine for Freshie. Doug Smith gets three of the five. Eight box, 96 through nine. The match is down to five. Lucky strike by five in the match. 498 to 497, Bowling Ball Mafia this string. Lucky strike by five in the match. Both bowls open here in the 10th. Freshie goes for four. Eight drop, Doug Smith. He's got the nine and 10. And good luck with this one. He'll have to go off the wall. You almost have to go over the 10, don't you hear, Bob? Off the wall? Yeah, it's a slightly better chance. Freshy punches two. Second ball in the gutter. It gets so loud here, Bob, and it's def deafening. And then when it gets really close, it gets tense. It's intense. Missed it wide right, six box. Good string though, 121 for Freshy. A 108 and a 121, 229 through two. Doug Smith with a nine, 105. 117, 117 in the first, 222 through two. 507, 503 in favor of Bowling Mafia. The lead is down to two in the match for Lucky Strike. Fourth bowler here, Sean Baker. Four horsemen left. One, two, four, seven, standing. Mark Carrier on a spare here. For Bowling Ball Mafia, off to the right. Another one goes. Five in the box. 102 through eight for Mark Carrier. Head pin only. Carrier. Parallel plus one. Missed the head pin. Tight match. Nine for Sean. 91 through nine. Nine for Carrier. 111 through 9. 512, 521, 512. Bowling Ball Mafia in the lead now by three in the match. Just joining us, Lucky Strike won the first by six. Sean Baker punches through four. Both open here in the 10th box of our second of three strings from Lee Delanes and Nashua. Semi-finals, U.S. Invitational. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. In the hole, Gary had the half whisker in his first ball, trying to dig out himself. Only gets three. Big outs, both these bowlers in the third box, third, third ball of the box. Got three, seven box. 98 for Sean Baker after a 129 first. Two string total of 227. Eight box for Mark Carrier. He had a 98 and a 119. 217 total. 529, 519. It's a four pin lead now in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. Two boxes to go here in the second. And Bowling Ball Mafia on a mark here. First, it's gonna be Dave Barber open here on the ninth. 86 through eight coming in, has a tough leave. Ryan Purdy on the spare, back door for seven. 117 through eight. Dave Barber trying to make a great shot here. Punched out one, that was tough. The one, the seven, and the eight pin for a spare for Purdy. Can he pick it up? No. Oh, it rolls back, it's the head pin. Not enough steam though to go back to the seven pin. Barber, hit nine box, 95 through nine. 125 in his first. Purdy at a 111 in his first, gets a 10 here. He's at 127 through nine. 
546 to 528. They're up by 12 now. 12 pin lead in the match. Their biggest lead of the match. Going ball mafia. Or of late anyway. Barbara goes back door. Seven down, three to go. Purdy, head pin for a strike pin. He's up to four in the eight. Dave Barber has the one, the four, and the seven. Trying to get a spare for the one end of the string. Yeah. Missed it. We'll get an update in the semifinals after this string. Ryan Purdy, a couple pieces of wood in front of the four and eight pin. He's going after it, and he gets the four, but not the eight. Tight match here at Lidl Lanes in Nashua. Semifinals, U.S. Invitational. Barbara the seven, 102, 230, 227, two string total, a 10 for Brian Purdy, a 137, second string. 556 for Bowling Ball Mafia. 535 for Lucky Strike. They're up by 15 after two. We'll check on that official score. We had 595 to 589 in the first for Lucky Strike. Right now it's 556 to 535, Bowling Ball Mafia in the second. If that holds, it'll be a 15 pin lead after two for Bowling Ball Mafia. 15 limp in lead unofficially. Bob will check that for us in just a minute. Then we'll get a live update in just a few minutes as they're wrapping up. They have four more boxes to go in the other semifinal. They're on 31 and 32. Third string now, Chris Merrill for Bowling Ball Mafia. Had a 127 and a 104. Has seven drop, eight drop for Sean McKinley. Pinch hitting in the second string. For a spare, he got it. Off the wall goes the seven. Nice stuff for Chris Merrill. Ten on the ball to start the third. Final string of this match. McKinley. No. Is that official, Bob? It is official. Okay, so 15 pin lead, 10 for Sean McKinley. Chris Merrill working on a spare to enhance that lead. Lucky Strike won the first by six. Ball and Ball Mafia won the second by 21. It's a 15 pin lead. Adding to that right now is Chris Merrill from Lewiston, Maine. Gets the Caleri fill, five, 15 up to one. 20 pin lead in the match currently. Kinley. 6'10 on the right, 7 on the left. Oh, what a spare! Two in a row to start the third for Chris Merrill. 25 and a ball after two. Oh, what a try! Missed it by one. Sean McKinley denied by the 10 pin. Looking for two 10s in a row here to start the third string. He does, or does he? Hit the pin and the gutter for counts. They're saying no, hit the gutter first. So it's nine blocks, 19 through two for Sean McKinley for lucky strike. Six pin lead, I'm sorry, shouldn't say that. 25 19, Bowling Ball Mafia, 21 pin lead in the match. 21 pin lead in the match. Joe Duda. For Bowling Ball Mafia and on 28, punches four in his first box. Jeff Surrett, spare leave, one, two, four, pins. What a shot by Joe Duda. They've got three for three and their first three boxes, all spares for Bowling Ball Mafia to start the third. Missed the head pin. Surrett had a 124 and a 109, his first two. Looking for a 10, got it, 10 through one. 35-29, Bowling Ball Mafia, 21 pin lead in the match. They got three spares to none right now. The winner plays in the final round. After this, and we'll have a few here, 
from Lee Delanes and Nashua. U.S. Invitational. Eight drop on the spare, 18 through one. Set up perfectly for another one with a six and 10. Sweat punches three on 27. For a second spare, yes, they're four for four. On their first four boxes, four spares for Bowling Ball Mafia. 28 plus two for Joe Duda. Surrett, leaving up five after two. <coughs> Thanks. Seven box, 17 through two as I reach for another Ludens. 53-36, Bowling Ball Mafia, this string. They're up by 32 in the match. Their biggest lead by far. Here's Doug Smith, his first box of the third string. Full horseman left, one, two, four, seven, 10 pin, right corner. Doug at a 117-105. Here's Nick Zuffaletto. Call him Freshy. Spare leaf. High piece of wood, though. He has a 108 and a 121 so far. Doug punches two. Freshy. Trying to, that's their first open box now. Out of five for ball and ball. First four bowlers with spares. Freshy trying to stop the bleeding. Doesn't go. Eight box. Eight after one for Doug Smith. From Augusta, Maine. 120 league bowler. Eight for Doug Smith, nine for Freshie to start. 61-45, 31 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia in the match. There's a strike. That went down quick. Doug Smith, thunderous strike, 18 plus two. They're working on three marks now. Five drop for Freshie in his first. Got someone to help him. He's got the seven, the eight. On the left side has the 3610 on the right. What a try. Seven pins still there. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to do the broadcast with you. It's been uh, a lot of fun. And uh, enjoyed it enjoyed it tremendously. Still have one more match after this. And many more to come from, from there on, but this is this is the highlight of the year. Oh yeah, this is the Super Bowl, the World Series, every, all combined in one. This is uh, bowling at its finest. Forget about 10 pin. There's more excitement in candle pin. 18 through two. 17 and uh, 15, so 32 is the difference now, right? Yep, 32 in the match. Up 15 coming in. Lucky Strike led by six after one. Dave Godwin now bowling for Lucky Strike. For Sean Baker. Yep. In the middle of the he gets a strike with his first ball. Dave Godwin, fresh off the bench. Ten plus two now for Dave Godwin. Carrier, nice 10, 10 after one. 31 pin lead in the match. There's a 32 now. 17, 32. 32 pin lead in the match, Bowling Ball Mafia. Carrier open here, gets eight, has the four, seven remaining. Second, second. Godwin on a strike off the bench. Looking for two in a row off the head pin. Four in his first. 74. 
74? And 41 in the first. Well, we're up 74 all together. Oh, 74 all together. Spare! It carries for carrier, 20 in a ball after two. Of an update in the semifinals in the second, 19 in the strike fill for Dave Godwin. We'll give you an update on the semifinals in just a moment. They've completed two strings over there also. They're just starting their third. 10 for Godwin, 29. Great start for him through two. It's 91-83, Bowling Ball Mafia. 23 is the lead in the match. They're working, but the advantage goes to Bowling Ball Mafia. Four marks to none. A lucky strike. Bob? Mike McKinney just told me a number and I forgot it. It was about 70, I believe it was 71. Uh, we'll, we'll double check it. One. Anchors are up. Purdy with the 1710. It's about six times he's seen it today. Nine drop for Dave Barber to open up the first box to the third and final string of this semifinal match. Lita Lanes, Nashua, New Hampshire. U.S. Invitational. Head pin goes, nothing else. Prices leads Barbara Maria. Misses it. Sorry, Prices leads Maria sub 74 after two of three strings in the other semifinal. Price Wood flooring in control. Nine for Brian Purdy, nine. Ten for Dave Barber. 100 to 93, Bowling Ball Mafia. 22 now in the match. But they've got four marks to work on to none for Lucky Strike. Ryan Purdy. Bowled fourth in the first string. Bowled fifth last string. Bowled fifth again here. In the third, gets seven. Barber gets eight. He's got the two pin and the five pin. Ryan has the seven left corner and the six ten on the right. The great piece of wood in position to go east coast, west coast. But it doesn't go. Good try. And Barbara is tonight also. Wow, both got robbed. Nine for Purdy. Two nines, 18 through two. Dave looking for a pair of tens here on alley 27, lane 27. He gets it. 109, 103, Bowling, bowling Ball Mafia. They're up to 21 now in the match. They've got three spares and a strike to work on. Lucky Strike is open. Lucky Strike, the number one seed, down right now to the number seven seed, Bowling Ball Mafia. The winner advances to the finals. We'll have that next year for you. Seven, Phil for Chris Merrill. There's an ugly leave of the four, the five and the 10. Sean McKinley, chance for a spare, we can pull it over. Oh, it hit the seven but wouldn't go. Heck of a try by Sean McKinley, the lucky strike. He gets 10, 29 through three. Good pinning there by Chris Merrill. Three single pins far apart. He's at 41 now through three. Spare five, spare seven, and a nine. 125, 113, Bowling Ball Mafia by 27 now in the match with three more marks to go, including a strike. All open for lucky strike. The number seven seed is leading the number one seed in the tournament. There's a bid for a strike. Nine for McKinley. In the fourth box, third string. Merrill, good head pin hit, but has nothing to show for it. No wood, two pins each side. Four, seven left, six, 10 right. The wood could be a factor here now. Have a water. Okay. He got it, spare. 39 in the ball through four. This uh, drinks, this, this drinks near you too if you want. 
right. And nine for Merrill, 50 through four. And the camera shot out. 134 to 123, Bowling Ball Mafia by 26 in the match. Three to one advantage in marks for Bowling Ball Mafia of a lucky strike. Jeff's right now at 28 for lucky strike. Had a 10 and seven. His first two, 17. On the head pin. Duda on a spare. Open up with an 18 and a 17 now, 35. Surratt trying to kick those three over. No. Duda. Not an easy shot. Would be three in a row. Oh, what a try. The five remains. Time for Surrett. 26 through three. Duda. Nine. 44 through three. 150 to 132. Bowling Ball Mafia. Up by 33 in the match. This will be an upset. If it holds, the lucky strike is an explosive team. Threat gets six down. On the fill, lemon drop. Actually, it was not in the fill. It was an open box. Fourth box, third string. Duda trying to come back in the second ball. Knocks down six, four standing. Knocked down five, actually, four standing. Nine for Surrett, 35 through four. Duda gets eight, Joe's at 52 through four. 158, 141, Bowling Ball Mafia. 32 now in the match of a lucky strike. The number seven seed. Trying to take out Goliath. Prices Wood flooring in control in their other match, semifinal match. The winners will face off next. We'll have it for you live here at Leader Lanes in Nashua. U.S. Invitational. Doug Smith. Working here in a strike. Freshy open here, looking for a spare. He's got it. 28 in the ball through three for Freshy. On the second ball strike, eight drop altogether. 26 through two for Doug Smith. Eight for the box. Three. Now Ava. Josh Daly. Another double. Double strike over there on 31, the semifinal match. He had a triple in the other, not the other string, too. On route to a 183. Fresh on the bill. It's 35 through three. Smith punches six. Find your way, buddy. Bunch of wood here. Seven in the left corner. He's got the nine and ten on the right side. They can use this spare. Went left side instead. Whoa, they're both wobbling. They were dancing together. I thought they were going to collide and hit each other. What a try by Freshy. Looked really good. Doug Smith going for us. Oh, almost got that one too. Superb try by both bowlers in the second ball of the fourth box, third string. Freshy gets the 10, 45 through four. Smith, nine, Doug's at 43 through four. 
183-168, 30-pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Each team on one spare. Dave Godwin now in the lineup. Came in. Got the string. Has a spare now. 10, 20. Slips, but gets nine. 10 strike. He should slip more often. On the spare field, carry against 25 through two. For another spare, just missed the seven pin, wouldn't go. Ed Godwin up the bench. Spare nine, 10 and strike. 10 for Mark Carrier, 35 through three. 198, 178. 35 pin lead by the Bowling Ball Mafia. But two marks in, in favor of Lucky Strike. A strike and spare. The strike coming up here now on the fill for Lucky Strike. Godwin goes to the left, but gets five on his first of two on the fill. Carrier rolling backwards. Seven drop as the one four seven piece of wood. Great chance for a spare. Godwin, second ball on the strike fill on 28. Gets eight, good fill, 47 through three. Ooh, missed it to the right. It's nine, McKinley, 56 through four. Carrier, 10, 45 through four. 208, 195, the lead is 28 in the match. For Bowling Ball Mafia. Dave Barber, two tens to start. Brian Purdy, three nines to start. One spare on hand for Lucky Strike. You see up all over. That has one. Starts with a six drop. Brian Purdy. Wood stays on, not in a good position. Barbara's six drop, missed it. Shaking his head. First spare, he got it! Shot by Brian Purdy for Bowling Ball Mafia. He was surprised by that one. <laughs> yeah, I think he's still in shock. He might need a pacemaker. 28 in the ball, three. Tough punch off of Dave Barber, seven, 27 through three. Dave Barber, outstanding bowler. The anchorman for lucky strike. 218, 202, 31 pin lead for uh, Bowling Ball Mafia. 31 pin lead, plenty of time to go. Dave Barber trying to get a first mark, his first mark in the third string. Solid hit. Six pin stays. Tough break. On the fill, another snap Worcester fill. We see about 20 of those this week. 30 after three. Tough punch out for Brian Purdy. After, you know, it's funny, you make a great shot, then you get robbed on a fill. I mean, he didn't hit the head pin, but still. It's funny the other way, too. I know. Laura averages, I guess. Dave Barber is the six on the right, seven from the left. This is for a spare. We hit the pin by itself. Good try. Second ball coming back strong. Will it roll over? Oh. Barber for a 10. 37 now through four. No marks for Dave Barber so far. Brian Purdy gets the wood for a 10, 40 through four, 230 to 212. 33 pin lead right now for Bowling Ball Mafia. 
Switching sides here again. We're through four boxes here in Lita Lanes, Nashville, New Hampshire at the U.S. Invitational semifinal. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. But the finals right here afterwards. Stuart flooring in the lead over there. Third. There's a mark coming up for Merrill. Merrill. Seven on the fill. It's showing eight in the fill. It's showing eight up there, Bob. So check that out if you can. It could be off by one. You got seven. It's showing eight in the scoreboard. So it should be 46, not 47. Sean McKinley. Nice try, would go. Eight box. Eight through five. Ten for McKinley, 57 through five. 258, is that 238 or 258? 258, right? 238. 238 to 230, right? Eight. So 23 pin lead right now for Ball Ball Mafia. Spare lead for Chris Miller on 28. McKinley. Good ball. And a spare for Merrill. The mark, the mark in the fourth was, was for uh, Sean McKinley. That was my error. Okay. His eight is legit. Okay. That's why. That's why the. Okay, scoreboard yeah. is up. Okay. No, it's my fault. That's all right. I was trying to change the score on my hand. Scoreboard. All right. So with the correction there, 58 through five for Chris Merrill, and at the spare fill, seven. It's Sean McKinley, 57 now through five, and a spare. Or is that 10? 10. Sorry. Yeah, that's a 10. 10. Last track here. There was a spare. On yeah. 67 through six. It's hard to keep track of everything. No, I was trying to interrupt you. Maybe. That's all right. I get distracted easily anyway. <laughs> 240, 240, 23 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia in the match. Joe Duda, opening in the fifth at 52 and four. Jeff Threat open also here at 35 in his first four. On the head pin, spare lead. 4 7 remaining with a piece of wood. Judah punches the half horse to the other side. Yikes. Threat for the spare. No! Robbed. Six, tough out, tough, tough out for uh, Joe Duda. 58 through five, 58 through five. Four pin gain with his 10 box. Nine, gained three there. 44 through five, 254, 249. The match is down to 20. Bowling Ball Mafia leads by 20. No marks on the board for anybody. Except, well, actually, one. Ball and ball mafia. The lead ball is one. So one spear in hand when Chris Merrill goes back next time. Joe Dudas, Jeff Sretz, second ball is here. Chris Bover is substituted in for uh, okay. Lucky Strike. For Jeff Sretz, right? Yep. I'll say Chris Bover, rather. Spare again for Joe Duda. Our spare. 68 through 6. It's hard to keep track of the lineup changes if they don't tell you. <laughs> Tough five. One more ball to go, though. Six, 50 through six. 
That's Chris Bovere filling in. Bovere. 264, 255, 24 pin lead in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. The number one, the number one seed is losing by 24. It's the number seven seed, Bowling Ball Mafia. Lots of time left, but two spares in the hand for Bowling Ball Mafia. That snip strike. What a shot that was. 53 plus two through five. Three marks on the board. Fresh, he comes back with an eight drop. It has nine and 10 with no wood. Is the lead right now for Bowling Ball Mafia? Mafia in the match. Doug Smith on 28, working on a strike. Freshie is open, going into the sixth. Instead of throws there. This is the semifinals of the U.S. Invitational, live from Rita Lanes in National New Hampshire. Paul Grant along with Bob Lee. Bob doing a tremendous job again, the graphics, the sound, the, putting this all together. The stats. On a strike. Oh, oh, yeah, double strike. Double strike for Doug Smith for Bowling Ball Mafia. Freshy, eight drop of his own. Trying to get back on the board. No marks on the board for Lucky Strike. Momentum on Bowling Ball Mafia's side. Lots of time left though. Punched out one, tough break. The number seven, seven, the number 17 leads the number one seed. Any given day. Nine for Freshy, 64 through six. Freshie at a 121 last string. 294, 274, 35 is the lead in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. Mafia, Mafia. Jackson Strong. Whichever you prefer. Your old name was Jackson Strong. Hashtag. Mark Carrier. Open in the fifth. Five minutes. Open 56 in its first four. Punches through. So we've got the five nine in the back. You have the six ten in the right. Left hand is the seven pin. Mound visit here for the strategy. How to go for this spare opportunity. Dave Godwin. What a shot that was! Incredible! Mark Carrier delivers for Bowling Ball Mafia. 55 and the ball through five. Wow! An upset in the making here. Godwin with an eight, 64 through five. 304 to 282, the lead is 37. Two marks on the board. One strike and one spare. The spare coming up here from Mark Carrier. On the fill. Finn gets five. Sixty now through five. Dave Goblin gets seven. Piece of wood, he's got to use that to have a chance. Tough piece of wood though. Five pin wouldn't go, still shaking in his boots. Wow. 
Semi-finals, U.S. Invitational, Lee Delane's National New Hampshire. What a shot, almost got another one. That would have been two spectacular shots in a row. Just missed it. What a try, yes, he got it. Superlative shot by Dave Godwin. 74 and a ball through six. Nine box, 69 now from our carry through six. 318 to 292. 41 I have. 41 is the lead match for Bowling Ball Mafia, up by 41. Who would have thought? Lemon drop. Open box, though, for Brian Purdy, the anchor. Dave Barber. Open through his first four, 37 coming in. Only gets four there. Second ball. Robert going for a spare. Won't get to the sevens. Try by Dave. Toss it to the right. Seven box, 47 through five for Brian Purdy. Barber with a nine, 46 through five. 325, 321, 39 pin lead in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. Six box for the anchors. Now third and final string of this semifinal match. We'll have the finals for you next year at Lita Lanes in Nashua. Dave Barber gets seven. Some wood hopefully to help him out. Brian Purdy's got three in the corner. Trying to spin that wood around. Good try, wouldn't go over. Dave Barber for spare. He does not get it. Oh my goodness, thought he had it. Eight. So a seven and eight for Brian Purdy, he's at 55 through six. Dave Barber pick up some pins here. A 10, 56 through six, 333, 311. The lead is 37 in the match. For Bowling Ball Mafia, and they have two spares and a strike up against one spare for Lucky Strike. Back to the top of the order, Sean McKinley in the seventh box here. He's at 67 through six, open box. Going for a strike, five won't budge. Well, it did budge, wouldn't go though. Chris Merrill on a fill. Gets six, 74 through six. McKinley for a spare, got it. Merrill trying to strike back. A two. Lucky strike needs a bunch of marks. Momentum bowling ball mafia side. Nine for Merrill. 83 through seven. It's getting louder and louder. More intense. The Super Bowl of all Super, Bowl, Super Bowls in Candlepin Bowling, the U.S. Invitational. Kinley on a fill, gets seven, 84 through seven. Good, great crowd here on hand. Half was the punch out from Merrill. McKinley for another spare. He gets it. Two in a row. 94 and a ball through eight for Sean McKinley. Outstanding bowling. Tough six, big swing there. Chris Merrill, 89 through eight. 354, 338. 31 pin lead in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. The number seven seed on top of the number one seed. 
Lucky Strike fans are rooting the team on. Chris Bovier, Joe Chris Bovier now. On the right, he's open. 50 through six. Joe Duda will be working on a spare. Bovier in lane 28 here. Lead of lanes in Nashua. Punches through, but gets a couple of roll. On the spare. Six. 74 through six for Joe Duda. Let's go there. Triangle left side. Four, seven, eight. Ten pin on the right with some wood. Will he use the wood? I would think he would. He does. And he does not get it. I thought that pin would fall into the eight. Wouldn't go. Fell just behind it. Duda. Try to ride it over. Leaves the 5 7. Nine for Boyd. Bovier. 59 through 7. Duda gets 9. 83 through 7. 369. 347. The lead is 37 for Bowling Ball Mafia. Is open here in the eighth, and a third and final string here from Nashua. All Grant Bobbly with you. Thrilling matches all week long. Lucky strike, the number one seed had a first round by a two rounds off. Half was to right. On the fill. Is that on the fill? No. Strike! The Joe Duda! Two marks, his last three blocks is 93 plus two through eight for Joe Duda. Bovier was open here, is open here in open here on the eighth box. Okay. I, 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 the, the way it looked at the score, but I think Good try. Bovier gets one, nine box, 68 through six. Three seventy nine, three fifty six, thirty eight 356, 38 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia in the match. Both teams have two marks. Two strikes though for Bowling Ball Mafia. Two spares, for lucky strike. Here's Freshy on 28, open here in the seventh, 64 through six. Doug Smith on a strike here, thanks, bud. For double, nine. He's on a, isn't he on, he was on a double. He was on a double strike. So 20, that's right, not the scoreboard, goes away. 29 in the fill. Freshy punches three. Smith for a spare on a double strike, gets it. Double strike spare, 92 through six. 102 in a ball through seven. Wow. The out gets nine. He's up to 73 through seven. 408, 365. 58 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. Upset in the, in the making here. Number seven leads number one. Fifty-seven. Plus fifteen. Seventy-two. you have. Uh, scoreboard. Okay, I didn't see the update in the scoreboard. On the spare. Another six there. Six more, so he's up to 108 now through seven. Rushing to the left. Disappointed himself. For another spare, he got it! Double strike, double spare! Wow! 118 plus the ball through eight. Doug Smith is on fire. 
Nine for Freshie, 82 through eight. 424, 374, 65 pin lead. In the match, well, 50 right now. 424, 374 is 50, right? Yeah, 50, then 15, 65. 65 in the lead. Ball and ball mafia in control. The marks are even, two apiece. Dave Godwin here on 28. Punches four in the spare, 78 now through six. Mark Carey open here on the seventh. Rolls down four. He had 69 in this first six. Crowd quiets down momentarily. Very boisterous. First spare, yes! Wow! What a shot there by Mark Carrier. 79 in the ball through seven. Godwin, no luck there, leaves a 7 10. Eight box, 86 through seven. 434, 386, two more, 67 is the lead in the match. Okay, that's right. 14. 48, if, uh, I think maybe 63, I'll check in a minute. 63, 63 now, yep. 63, my bad. Godwin, off the right, on the fill. That's the Clary. Now it's 68. 68 the lead now for Bowling Ball Mafia, 84 now through seven for Mark Carrier. Godwin, needs this mark, missed it. Time is running out for Lucky Strike. The number one seed. The number seven seed, Bowling Ball Mafia, in control in the third. Nice 10 there for Godwin. 96 through eight. Nice nine out for the carrier. 93 through eight. Anchors away here, fifth bowlers. Dave Barber on the right, 56 through six. Brian Purdy, anch the anchor open at 55 through 6. 448 to 396. 67 pin lead in the match for Bowling Ball Mafia. Here in Nashville at Lita Lanes, U.S. Invitational Semis. Dave Barber gets 8, maybe 9, yes, 9, maybe 10. Not quite. Ran out of gas. Purdy, head pin hit, gets seven. Triangle right side, six ten nine. Dave, six pin for a spare, he has it. They've got two marks now. Spare! Brian Purdy on the money. 65 and a ball through seven, his first mark of the string. The lead is, remains at 67 for the match. Bowling Ball Mafia in charge. Barber on this spare fill, punches out three. Ouch, 69 through seven. Purdy on the fill, gets six, gain of three. The lead is 70, 70 pin lead. 71 through seven now for Purdy. Barber trying to bounce back. Nice shot, just missed it by one. Heck of a try. Purdy, missed it by two. Ten for Dave Barber, 79 through eight. The number seven seed, 70 pin lead. If he gets 10, it's nine, 69 is the lead. 80, but if my numbers are right, 80 through eight for Purdy. 473, 419, it's actually 69. Up 54 in the string. Hold on, 417, 54 in the string, plus 15 before. 69 is the lead. 69 pin lead. Final two boxes of the match. McKinley for a strike. Merrill. Good bid for a spare. 
Maybe, maybe, yeah, strike, thank you. That was a strike on spare. Strike on spare. Thank you. Uh, 104 through 8, 114 plus 2 through 9. Trying to keep track of the score here and watch at the same time. 10 box for Merrill, 99 through 9. Double strike will be huge for McKinley. Seven drive for Merrill. Tough split. McKinley on the strike for a double. Five seven split. He was at 67 through six. He's at 114 plus this box this box. Chris just missed it. Can he kick this wood over the five to the seven? He does! What a shot by Sean McKinley. Sensational. 134 in a ball. He had 67 through six. Keeping him in the match. You never count lucky strikeout. 492, 459. 48 pin lead in the match. It was 69 just a minute ago. On a mark. Seven, 141, 145, 141, 246 total. Outstanding string for Sean McKinley for Lucky Strike. 492, 466, it's down to 41. But two marks on the board, a strike and a spare to none in favor of Bowling Ball Mafia. Joe Duda on a strike here. Yeah, only four in the first. Lucky strike is all open on the left. Chris Bobear punches three. Six on the fill on the strike, 99 through eight. Bowling Ball Mafia, the number seven seed, trying to upset the number one seed and go to the finals. We'll have it if you're live at Lee Delanes in Nashua after this match. Chops one, deflating. Eight for Merrill, uh, for Duda rather. Eight for Duda, 107 through nine. Right now. right now it's 51 in the match. Minus whatever he gets here in this third ball. I have it at 47. So. We'll check in a minute here. Five box, 73 through nine. I've got it at 50. 506, 471, that's 35 plus 15. 50 is the lead. Ball and ball off here in control. Duda has the five on the left. Three, six, 10 on the right. It was 49 to get this 50. So it's 50? Well, they, need a, they need to mark out. They need to mark out to have a chance. Might need a double or triple. Hooks it to the left. Nothing doing there. Chris Bovier is a spare leaf. Has the six and ten. Doesn't need the wood. Number seven seed up by fifty going to this box. Uses the wood. Gets it. Thought he got the pins, he used the wood instead. 83 in a ball. Seven for Duda, 114. 91 and 114 for him. Two string total of 205. 513, 481. 32, 47 is the lead. One spare piece on the board. Third and final string here from Nashua. On the spare. Nine, strong finish, only 92, but a big nine on the field, 92. For Surrett. I'm sorry, Boy, Bo Bovier. Surrett was in that spot initially. Crossed it off. Josh Daly has seven marks in a row over there. Can you, can, you get a, can you get a lead for us over this score for us? We're checking the other semifinals, Josh Daly on the other, the other match, has seven marks in a row. 
It's at 129 in the ball through seven in the other match. Back to our action now. Third bowlers. Final two boxes. Doug Smith gets five, 123 in the fill. Five in the fill, 123 through eight. Price is wood foil by 125 in the third. So they'll be going to the finals. Freshy, 82 through eight open here. Almost had eight in a row over there in the other match. Nice try by Fresh. He missed it by one. His bid, his bid for, his bid for ten or eleven in a row. Just, just you already, you already shot. One eighty-three. In this. Ready, ten. Ten. Nine bars for Doug Smith. One thirty-two through nine. Fresh. He a ten will give ninety-two through nine. Five twenty-seven. Five oh one. The lead is 41 in the match. 26 up now, 15 early. Coming in, 41 in the match. No marks on the board for either team. Five blocks to go. It may take an act of, an act of Congress for Lucky Strike to win this. Nine drop for Smith. Final box. He's over 140 now. Freshy, eight drop. Three pin right side, seven pin left side with some wood. For a spare, got it. 142 and a ball, and that should do it. Freshy does not get the spare, and that's the way they've been unlucky. Lucky strike in this string. Nine, 101 for Freshy. 108, 121, 101, 330 for the match. Strike! 152, strike on Spear. 152 for Doug Smith. Wow. 117, 105. 152, 374 total. 52 pin, lead. 52 pin lead with four boxes, no marks on the board. The number seven seed, Mark Carrier, gets carried away in that one. Clips the 10 pin. Godwin has the Caleri. The number seven team is going to upset the number one ranked team. Bowling Ball Mafia looks like they'll be heading to the finals against Price's Wood Flooring here in Nashua, Lita Lane at the U.S. Invitational. The Super Bowl of Candleton Bowling, 10, 103, 9 for Mark Carrier. Josh Daly at 148 after eight. Yeah, he threw a 183 game one. Yeah, 183 in the first game of the semifinal match. Nine for 105 now for Dave Godwin. Number one seed, our bye team, not a guarantee. All the bowlers here, very competitive. All the bowlers capable of winning. Carries the one three pin. Second ball, missed it, didn't need it. For a spare, no. Ten, one thirteen from our carrier. Five sixty seven, five twenty eight. So the number seven seed will go against Price's Wood Floor. Price's Wood, were they number? They're the two seed. They're, They're the, the two, two seed. seed. Yep. All right. So they'll be, they'll be their favorite team on paper. Especially with Josh Daly the way, throwing the way he is. Their scores have been in the 600s. Yep. Yeah. 
Bob, this has been great. Even though it's, uh, it's just been back and forth and ball, and ball and Mafia pulled away early in the third. Lucky Strike won the first by six. Ball and Ball Mafia won the second by 21, and they've dominated here in the third. 10 for Dave Barber, 89 through nine. Eight for Brian Perry, 88 through eight. 575, 538. 52 pin lead for Bowling Ball Mafia. One box to go in the match. And we'll have the finals here for you in just a little while at Leader Lanes in Nashua. Last ball of the match. Teams uh, shake hands. Great sportsmanship as always in Kingdom Bowling. Nine for Brian Purdy, 97. Hit a 137 last string. Dave Arras, six box to end up with a 95. 125, 102, 95. Final score, 584 for Bowling Ball Mafia to 544. 55 pin win in the match. Congratulations to the number seven seed, Bowling Ball Mafia. They take out the number one seed, Lucky Strike, in the semifinals. And now Bowling Ball Mafia will head to the final round against Price's Wood Flooring, who are finished up the match, but have a huge lead. Yep. Insurmountable lead there. And they're over 600 over there, so we'll see you, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, Paul Graham. Paul Graham, Bob Lee, so on for now. We'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.